Hey everybody, Clay Archer, CEO of DPC Technology. And today I just wanted to do a quick video on how to use notifications with smart detections and Unify Protect. One of the things I haven't been using very much in the Protect system is notifications. I found with motion detection, uh, I didn't really trust them and I was just getting a bunch of false positives. So I really hadn't used notifications that much. But when Protect came out with smart detections, I started to think, well, maybe I should start turning on notifications again now that it detects both vehicles and humans. And I'm gonna dive right in and show you how I've done it, and it works really well. So first of all, I'm just in Unify Protect. You can see my smart uh, detections up on the top of the screen here. I'm gonna go into my cameras themselves, and I'm just gonna show you what I've done to, on each camera to set up those smart detections. You probably have already done this, but I'm gonna do a quick little review just so you can see it. So I'm gonna go into the G4 Pro here, and I am going to go under zones, and I'm going to click plus on the smart detection zones, and I'm gonna go add smart detection zone. And you can see in here, I've already got a smart detection zone set up. This is actually the zone I have. What, I, what I'm trying to do here is not capture all of the information in the background. This, I don't need this black car coming in, but I do wanna see every car that comes into the, the parking lot. So I've basically just drawn a, a, a new zone here, and it does both persons and vehicles. So I can see all the vehicles in the parking lot, and anybody walking to or from a vehicle in the parking lot. I'll click on new zone just to show you how to do another one or add new zone just to show you how to do another one. And I will just draw one up here in the sky like if I wanted to see every airplane that went by. And it's really simple, you just drag it out, you do your thing, and if you wanna add a point, you just click in the middle there, a point will show up in the middle of each little kind of trapezoid there, and you can just go ahead and make them all join together and you could say whether it was person or vehicle or whatever. I'm gonna go cancel there because I don't want that. If I go back into add zones there, you can see my first one ex still exists there. So that's it, I can turn up and down sensitivity, I could change a name to it, but that's really it. On all your G4 cameras, you wanna go in there and set smart detection zones because you don't want false positives. The thing about not notifications is they're no good if you don't trust them. So I wanna be able to trust that anything that's in that zone is exactly what I wanna see. So, you know, if you need to use multiple zones or, you know, exclude stuff, I definitely would take the time to set that up correctly in your cameras. So once you have that all set up, you can go into the notifications themselves. They are under settings and go down to my alerts. And if you haven't set them up before, you're gonna to have to click on uh, enable activity alerts. Go ahead and click that. And then you can click edit down here to add a new one or edit the default. Um, you can go ahead and name it whatever you want to. You can click on never, always, or a custom schedule here. Uh, I'm gonna click on custom schedule. And what it allows you to do is turn on the times that it will alert you and have times where it won't alert you. During the day here, people are in and out of the building all day long. I don't wanna get an alert every time somebody walks in and out the door. Uh, people get here at 6.30 and they leave at about 6.30, so I left that gap on Monday through Friday. People do work on Saturday here sometimes, but um, I'm okay with getting those alerts just to see who's at the office or who's not at the office. Basically, this is my setup. If I wanted to change it, I could click in any time block here and put another blue block, and then I can edit it by making it shorter or longer or just dragging it around. Um, to the other time frames that I didn't want it to be. So you make those for each day, it's pretty simple to do. Um, if you just don't want it, you can click on it and you can click delete and it will go away. So a couple of things down here that you can set up. Um, I've got the UNVR connect and disconnect. Uh, that's going both to my email and to my push notifications on my Android device. Also, I've got updates that go to email and push just so I get a, a, a notification every time there's an update available for the firmware. Um, I only have two of these on right now and it's the G4 Bullet at the front door and the GT G4 Pro uh, out in the parking lot. And I have them email me and push me on smart detections. I do not have motion and I do not have connect and disconnect because most of the time that comes from my UNVR. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and connect and disconnect you. Why not? And when you're done with your settings, all you do is save, boom. That's all you need to do. And now every time that there's a smart detection of either a vehicle or a person on those cameras inside those motion zones, it's gonna come right to your phone and right to your email. 
All right, so here you can see in the software, uh, basically what I have is a folder that's called clutter, which is kind of my overflow from my stuff that's kind of important, but not so important. It's stuff I look at, but I'm not looking at as it comes in. So anyways, that comes into those that folder and I can come in here and see all of these times that there was a smart detection of a person or a vehicle. Quick and easy to just kind of see what's going on there. I could click on the link there and go into the software. So that's the email notification. I'll go ahead and click on my phone real quick and show you what it looks like on the phone. All right, I had Marty walk outside real quick and he triggered a push notification on my cell phone here. So you can see I got a quick uh, notification. I can just click in there. It launches the NVR and uh, I can go straight back to that smart section. There's Marty walking back in the building. Super easy, super quick, just comes in as a notification up at the top of your screen, just like any other notification on your cell phone. And uh, I think this is the kind of, for me, this is the more powerful feature uh, than the email. I like the email because I can go back and just look real quick, but this is like on a Saturday, if somebody accidentally sets off the alarm, I know before the alarm company's calling me that they accidentally set up the alarm. That happens all the time. So perfect use of the uh, notifications. I, I avoided them for a long time because I just didn't think they were very powerful. But since smart detections have, have come along, I think notifications are one of the most powerful parts of the Protect system. There is no audible uh, alarm. A lot of people ask when I was doing the Hike Vision review, is there an audible alarm in Protect? I don't think there is one at this point. Um, but other than that, I think it's a really strong feature. And uh, if you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, if you have any questions, put them in the comments down below and we'll see you in the next video.